My name is Bob Lawson, the Chief of Police in La Vista, along with Fire Chief Bill Bowes. We want to talk tonight about three incidents that occurred uh, that really bring, bring credit not only to the city but to the employees, and it reinforces what we do training-wise, uh, especially for medical services. Uh, Megan, can you come up, please? This is Megan Engberg from our Community Development Department. You stand right there, you know, Mitch is filming, so you're going to watch Mitch, okay? <laughs> On the evening of January 13th, 2023, Megan Engberg, her boyfriend Nick, and her son were eating at Jersey Sports Bar. Nick suddenly began choking on a piece of steak. He slapped the table with his hand and stood up holding his throat. The waiter saw what was happening and yelled, he's choking. Megan realized what was happening and immediately knew what to do. Megan performed a successful Heimlich maneuver on Nick, dislodging the obstruction in the airway. The waiter brought Nick some water, and Nick survived the incident thanks to Megan's quick thinking and the training that she received through the city. We appreciate people who step forward and take action. I'm proud to award Megan our La Vista Police Department Citizen's Certificate of Appreciation for what Megan did. Thank you, Megan. We're also brought here tonight to acknowledge the actions of two of La Vista's finest, Officer Nick Giannetti and Officer John Danderan. Both will be presented with the police department's life-saving pin. We also have Fire Chief Bill Bowes here to accept our appreciation to the crew of the fire department that were on Dan Aran's incident. We do not award this award lightly. There must be evidence that substantiates this award, such as statements from witnesses, physicians, or supervisors. It should be noted that the actions of these two officers occurred off-duty, making this even more remarkable, just like Megan's. Both of these officers are humble people and may think this is no big deal. We disagree and feel that this recognition is truly deserved. The officer's training, calmness under pressure, and experience are highly valued. Nick, can you come up first? Right here. There you go. Right On the evening of January 4th, 2023, Officer Nick Giannetti and his wife, Crystal, who's in the back, were out to eat at the Good Life Sports Bar and Grill near their home in Omaha. Below is a detailed narrative from Crystal based on her witnessing the event. We met my folks at the Good Life for dinner and to watch the Creighton basketball game. There was a table of five guys, early 20s, watching the game and eating chicken wings. Nick and I were in mid-conversation when I happened to look over at the room and noticed a struggle with their table. One big guy was choking and his buddy was attempting to hold him up while trying to do the Heimlich. I nudged Nick, told him there's a young man choking and his buddy is really struggling to do the Heimlich. Without a second of hesitation, Nick immediately jumped out of his seat, ran over, and completely took over the situation. The friend was beyond thankful for Nick's willingness to take over for him. Nick pumped on the guy six or seven times and was able to successfully dislodge, dislodge the material from the man's throat without breaking his ribs. He ended up being okay. First responders, this is from Crystal, are truly heroes, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of them. I'm proud of you, Nick, and on behalf of the La Vista Police Department, I'm proud to award you the Life Saving Award. Thank you, Chief. John, can you come up? And by my count, this is the third time we've done this with John over the years. Right there, sir. On December 18th, 2022, at approximately 0711 hours in the morning, while at home in La Vista and off duty, Officer John Danaran was alerted by his next door neighbor that a male party was unconscious and not breathing. Next door. As one of the police department's canine officers, John has a take home vehicle. Not knowing exactly what he may have to deal with, John retrieved the automatic external defibrillator, the AED, from his black and white and entered the residence. He found a male party in cardiac arrest. John utilized the AED as well as CPR on the male. A short time later, members from the La Vista Police Department and Papillion Fire Department arrived on location and took over patient care. On December 22, 2022, contact was made with the Bergen Nursing Intensive Care lead nurse. The nurse stated the patient was expected to survive and make a full recovery. John's quick thinking, reliance on training, and the timely appreciate application of the AED directly affected the outcome of that call. I'm proud to award John the La Vista Police Department's Life Saving Award. John? Additionally, the response and professional care provided by the, uh, the fire department crew is to be recognized. 
Chief Bowes is here to pass on our appreciation and present our life-saving awards to the fire department crew. Captain Chad Jeffers, Firefighter Paramedic Michael Borden, Firefighter Paramedic Jason Banks, Fire Ara 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 Apparatus Engineer Josiah Stangle, Fire Apparatus Engineer Phil Pratt, and Battalion Chief Brian O'Shea. Chief, we have certificates, and if you would please pass those in our appreciation along, I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.